Ajax is here, and he felt crazy good in my early testing with him. I got him to 20 plus power multiple times with relative ease, and I had a blast. This is the deck I played, and it was great. It's fairly simple in that the main idea is just to afflict your opponent with negative power, and that will obviously buff Ajax to the moon. <laughs> now, there is an obvious counter to him, and his name is Luke Cage, but ideally you can steal Luke Cage's ability with Rogue. Now, I don't want to say that Ajax is going to like to find the meta or anything, but he definitely seems like a B-plus card, if that makes sense. He was very good, and I had a lot of fun with him. <laughs> if you have any other questions, make sure to ask me in the comments, and let's get right into the games. Alright. So with Atlantis, I prefer playing Sunspot before Misty Knight. It doesn't matter too much. <laughs> but that's what I'm going to do. Then we'll probably end up playing Misty Knight here. We can play Misty Knight left, I would like to, with Bifrost. I don't particularly want to play Rogue on 3. I would much rather have something else. Actually, we're not even going to play Rogue. I, I kind of made that sound like, oh, come on. Okay. Arguably, we should play the Rogue to stop the Sunspot from getting big, but I just don't think there's any chance of us winning right. Like, right is just gone. We have to accept that. They play magic. They did not play magic into Bar with no name, so I would guess that they're not a tribunalist. Because if you were a tribunalist, you would definitely play magic into Bar with no name. We could just high Evo if we want to look for more targets on the thing. Which I I guess I like the idea of. They play Brood, okay. That's fun. So I I I think I'm gonna keep going against decks like this. Like do how much do we like the thing here? Or are we so bold as to guess that they play a one? This hits three things, which puts Abomination down to two. We can play Abomination and Rogue next turn while still floating energy D uh, for, for the Hulk. Do we even need to float energy, though? Not necessarily. I think the thing is the right play either way. Alright, see, they did not play one. They might just be looking... Okay. They might just be looking to play... an Odin on top of all this stuff that they have. Right. Yeah, okay, let's do this. So they play Surfer... Yeah, they're looking to play an Odin. Surfer and Hazmat. That buffs our Ajax tremendously. I wonder if they just play an Odin here. Like, outright play an Odin. I don't think it'll beat Ajax. I don't think so. Let's see. They could obviously play something else. I just feel like Odin is what they've set up here, right? With all those unreveals. And if they play an Odin... So Ironheart would give six. It is an Odin, so this will be interesting. I think the real question is, do we win left? And the hazmat goes off. Hurts them more than it hurts us left. Ajax wins mid, Cyclops and Misty Knight work together to win left. So yeah, Ajax is absolutely insane there, going up to 21. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Alright, Vormir will probably just play Scorpion into that. I think that's completely fine. We have the Raft. Hmm... Hmm. No. No, we'll play Scorpion left. Play White Widow right. Probably would have played the White Widow left, no? 
play the White Widow into Vormir, and then you get four power. I mean, that's most of the power that comes from White Widow. It's not, it's not her two power. <laughs> Elysium. Okay, so do we actually just tempo High Evo here? <laughs> It's kind of ridiculous, but I think it is the play. They play Grand Master. That's incredibly annoying, but kind of okay. Turn four. Could play U2 if we just want to fill up the location. And I think we do, because I think they will fill up the location. Oh, they didn't. Well, then I'm happy to have this advantage. Rock slide. They play hazmat. Oh, this is going to be insane. <laughs> I wonder if they have a Luke Cage. I would be kind of devastated. Do we want to play Ajax now? I think we can. We can play Ajax. Ajax is just really, really big. So, there we go. Awesome. Hey, you found a rock. <laughs> I love the Korg voice lens. I'm a little bit worried. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm a little bit worried they play Luke Cage, but they didn't. So we have an amazing Ajax there, just up at 22 power. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Lake Hellas. Yeah, why not? Play Misty Knight there. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. There's no reason not to. Right? Hell's Kitchen, we can just play a Sunspot there too. Mm. I want I want to go the Toxic route. I uh, You could reasonably say that Sunspot is the better play here. I just want to go with the Toxic stuff because this is an Ajax deck and Ajax like literally just released. I'm going to play Cyclops mid. Next turn, we will probably end up just playing Sunspot left. So we're going to end up playing the Sunspot anyway, I would guess. Unless they play a bunch of stuff and then we draw a Thane and then we're like, ooh, okay, we want to play the Thane. Magic. Interesting. Okay. So they take away our buff. That's a little bit sad. We can still play the Sunspot there, though. That's fine. If they're a Tribunal deck, we are super happy. There's obviously a chance they're not, but... They're snapping, which makes me think they're not Tribunal, because I don't think you would snap against this deck if you were Tribunal. Maybe Hella Discard? I don't know. Even if they're Hella Discard, we have a decent chance of being able to snipe their Invisible Woman. Or their Wan. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that we can just take this with Rogue, right? It's really not that big of a deal. Do we want to snipe it with Red Guardian? Or straight up steal it with Rogue. I think we would rather snipe it with Red Guardian because, like, we're not going to benefit too much from having a... from having a wand on our side. It doesn't help that much. They might have a Luke Cage. I think it is actually fairly probable that they do. So we want to play this Abomination now before it gets too far out of hand. And then Hulk is the card that we want to play next turn. Could play Abomination and the Thane and then Hulk next turn. Like, obviously we want to Hulk next turn. But do we want to play the Thane now and lock us out of left? Maybe we'd rather put it mid? Because I don't think they're going to be able to contest mid very well. We're just, we're ahead by so much mid. I think it's fine to do this. I know we're only hitting one target instead of two. It's more about the pure power that we're getting from the thing. Like, we're up to 16 and they're at negative four. Granted, there's the Luke Cage we talked about. And there's the Brood. So probably should have played the thing left. Because now they have a decent chance of being able to win mid.
They have to have the absorbing man to win mid, actually. But... I mean, if this hits Luke Cage... Do we want to just bet that that hits Luke Cage? This is stupid. Don't do this. I'm betting on the 50-50. And we hit it every time. <laughs> there we go. I'm so cool. <laughs> oh, it was Odin. Oh, they had the they had the Sarah down. That's how they played Odin. I was thinking of um, of absorbing men, like I said. But yeah, no, we're still able to win there because we hit the 50-50. <laughs> it always feels bad as an op like if I was them, I would feel bad. But if I'm me, this feels awesome. So you know that's great. <laughs> All right, so Ajax quite literally just came out like like what like 30 seconds ago. I got Ajax right away in one cash, so that was pretty easy. Really happy about that. Yeah, I think we can sunspot. Well, how many cards do they have in hand? They have five cards in hand. No, let's Scorpion. Epic. That's amazing. <laughs> We're really happy that that hit all of their cards. Jotunheim is also notably good for Ajax. Yeah. Yeah, let's just play sunspot. We're completely cool with that. And let's see, they play something into Jotunheim. Okay. It is a Hurt Magic. wonder if they're a Tribunal deck. We're pretty good at shutting that down with Red Guardian and Rogue. I'm not sure, though. I think let's just play the Abomination. Like, honestly. <laughs> that is a little bit too much, you could argue. But we don't have anything else better to do. We're not going to play Red Guardian or Rogue right now. So we want to use our turn four, right? We could full float, but this accomplishes more. Nine power for four energy is better. Zabu. Yeah, now we can play an Ajax mid. That's completely fine. We're probably going to set up Ajax and Sunspot to be the two powerhouses mid, and then Abomination and Hulk to do right. Nimrod? Nimrod? Well, let's just kill that right now. I wonder... You could argue to play Rogue to fill up this to get an Abomination, because I think we had Abomination in our starting hand, right? But ultimately, they're only going to have more, most likely one thing that's negative, because I think they're going to destroy this Nimrod. We can snap on this because we hit the Nimrod with Red Guardian, and if they go to destroy the Nimrod, then it's gonna, you know, die. <laughs> like, nothing good will come from it because we're just killing the Nimrod. So this is all completely fine. Red Guardian kills Nimrod. They play Azola, and they retreat. Yeah. <laughs> so first game went pretty well there. That's awesome. <laughs> Hey, I hope you liked the video. I wanted to get it out to you guys right when Ajax released. <laughs> and if you did enjoy it, I know you'll love this one about Tribunal. Other than that, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.